now that we've had some practice on F, on F sharp and F natural, and we feel like we can differentiate between the two, that means you know when you should use an F natural fingering and you know when to use an F sharp fingering, we can start reading some of these other exercises. Number 117, it's called playing around F natural, and we're just practicing rising and falling using our F natural fingering. You should be able to read this one pretty simply, as long as you remember that when there's one F natural in the measure, the next F natural you see is also going to be an F natural. Pause the video here if you need to practice that for a few minutes. And let's try that together. Here's number 117. One, two, ready, go. As long as all your F naturals sounded like my F naturals, you are correct. If you played F natural and you thought it sounded a little sour, rethink where your fingering is. Make sure that those first two fingers are actually touching each other. If you have even a little bit more space in there, it's going to sound pretty sour. Now number 118, this is where we start to have some fun switching between F sharp and F natural. In order to play both F sharp and F natural, you're going to have to slide your second finger back and forth. You'll put your second finger here if you're playing F natural and you'll place your second finger up here, a high two position, or the, the position you used to, to play an F sharp. Now, of course, you're gonna have a second finger tape here where my second finger is now. I do not have a second finger tape. So if that's throwing you off, I don't have that tape. You should have your tape on your instrument. I'm gonna read through number 118 with you, just so we know where we're playing F sharp and F natural. Now I'm looking at the key signature at the very front right here. So at the key signature, I see, okay, there's one sharp, and if I figure out what line or space that's on, I figure out, oh, okay, so all Fs are going to be sharp unless they're marked otherwise. That could happen. Be careful. Start with the first note. We have G, F, and you're trying to figure out, okay, is that, because the key signature says F sharp, and I don't see a natural symbol, so that must be F sharp. So we have G, F sharp, E, D, E, no natural symbol, so it's F sharp. F sharp, G, we have a pause, a little uh, breath, and you also have a lift there. We're back to G, and then, oh, okay. So there's a symbol next to this note, and it's a natural symbol. So instead of playing F sharp there, I'm gonna play F natural. I'm gonna make sure that my second finger is next to my first. G, F natural, E, D, E, F, that's another F natural, G, rest. The first two measures mirror the second two measures, except in the first two measures, you're using a high two, or uh, yes, a raised second finger where you would normally put it on the tape to play F sharp. And the last two measures, you're playing F natural instead. All the other notes are the same though. Take a moment to practice both halves of this exercise. And then when you're ready, you can try it with me. One, two, ready, go. Lift. Now I'm going to pause here just so we can remember. Oh, shoot. In the next half of the exercise, I have to use a low two. So you can scoot that second finger back to prepare. Now here's the second half. Ready, go. Quite a different sound there, huh? Now I love this next one, number 119. I've got to turn a page for it, and mine's actually two pages long. Yours should be a few lines long. Oh, I'm so sorry. I made a mistake, guys. I'm getting ahead of myself. Number 120 is a few lines long, but number 119 is not. Number 119, just like we were talking about before, you're switching between F sharp and F natural. So take a second just to point to all the Fs that you play in this piece. Every single note is a type of F, maybe F natural or F sharp and figure out what you're playing on each one, if it's F sharp or F natural. Once you've done that, practice sliding your second finger back and forth. Don't press too hard into the string because it's gonna be really hard to move your finger if you're pressing too hard into the string. Press only enough that you're going to get a sound and then practice sliding your second finger back and forth like that. If you're having any trouble sliding that finger, check your wrist, 
check that your thumb is in the right place. If either of those are off, that might make you a little bit less flexible with that finger. Okay. Now I'm gonna look at number 119. My first note is F sharp. One, two, ready, go. Rest, rest. Rest, rest. Did you get all those finger slides in there? And did you play the right note effort, F natural or F sharp each time? If not, you can go back and try it again. 120, this is the one I'm very excited about. This is called finger rock. And please use the same process we have been doing. Every time you see an F, figure out if it's an F natural or an F sharp. You might wanna practice this one in small chunks since it is a little bit longer. I'll give you that time now if you need to pause the video. This is Allegro, so I'm gonna be taking it pretty quick. Don't try it with me until you think you're ready. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> ready to try looking at perpetual motion finger rock. That's one of the pieces that I gave you in that packet for the concert. The, uh, this exercise, or I'm sorry, not this exercise, but that piece of music is going to be using F naturals and F sharps. It's also going to be using C naturals and C sharps. C natural, C sharp follows the same kind of pattern. I will be posting a few videos about that soon, but if you want to start looking at perpetual motion finger rock just to figure out what your Fs are, you are more than welcome to start now. <laughs> 